I'm Doug Oster from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Welcome to Digging with Doug. Today we're looking at some of our past projects, and the first one is this great grass. It worked. It actually worked. Thank you, Jonathan Green. Good seed and proper preparation of the soil got us a decent lawn. This was all just terrible looking dirt, uh, maybe a few weeds. And we do have some weeds in it right now, but we call that a quilted lawn, uh, so I'm not worried about it. Some areas need a little bit more seed, but uh, compared to what it looked like before, which was just uh, barren, this is a, a welcome relief. Today, we're going to look in the garden, we're going to see our potato project, how things are coming along there, uh, some of the other things we planted, and we're going to plant some tomatoes in a different way, horizontal planting. Uh, we'll see how that works. So let's get into the garden. This is our cabbage, and we've got a floating row cover on it. This stops the cabbage uh, butterfly from laying its eggs, and we don't want to have cabbage worms. And it also acts as a little greenhouse, and you can see the plants have really taken off. Uh, if you can remember how small they were when we put them in, they're looking a good size. I can tell already they're too close together, but that's going to be okay. They'll grow together. Uh, some lettuce out here. We've already uh, picked some of this lettuce uh, for salads. And uh, down below, we've got some more lettuce and shallots and some other things to take a look at. All right, these are the shallots. And uh, it's funny, even though we did this on video, how you forget in your garden. I was, uh, I saw these sprouting up and I was like, is this garlic that's, what's going on here? And because the, uh, the greens are wonderful. Mm. Mm. Just great. So I can't wait to harvest these. These will be ready probably about another month. Uh, but I'm gl glad I figured out what they were. I guess I'll have to go back to the video. <laughs> okay, we've got some more lettuce here. And uh, it's amazing how fast everything grows. It was only maybe four weeks ago that we put this in and our broccoli is looking good. It doesn't really get as much sun as it would like back here, uh, but uh, it'll be fine. Uh, when things get hot, it's gonna enjoy this shady location over here. Let's go into the greenhouse and take a look at the tomatoes we started uh, months ago and see how they look. And I'm gonna show you why we're gonna plant them horizontally. All right, well, these are the tomatoes we started just uh, a couple months ago, and you can see how big they are. Uh, the problem is, though, that they're not getting enough light. Uh, every year when the trees leaf out above me, uh, it, it makes these tomatoes just get tall and spindly. We call that leggy, and you can see they should be nice and bushy if they were out in the sun, but this is just the light that we have. So that means that we have to plant them a little bit differently uh, when we go outside. And we're just going to take these out and uh, plant them up. And of course, the number one ingredient for planting is compost, which I've got a nice wheelbarrow of compost here. Uh, I'm using a method here called no-till. And every year I just put more and more, whether it's manure or compost in here, and don't dig uh, down in there. That way all the stuff underneath, microorganisms, earthworms, everything, that little symbiotic relationship under the ground is never disturbed. So let's start off with just putting our good compost on. Yeah, looks good. And we're going to plant right directly in that. Okay. That's absolutely perfect. So here's how horizontal planting works. We take our plant out. We're going to strip off all the lower leaves because this whole stem will fill with roots. And now this is the only part that's going to be remaining above the ground right here is the very top and we're just lay it in its trench and just gently cover it over. And the great thing about this is that the stem right here is only a couple inches below the soil, if that. And it's going to be closer to water when it rains and also uh, going to be warmer and tomatoes love it warm. And eventually, that's just in a day, that will stand straight up. But right now, we have to put the cage on, uh, because if we put it on later, we could sever that stem right there. So we're going to put the cage on right up over it. These are made out of uh, concrete reinforcing wire, and uh, they sell it at the you know hardware store or a box store uh, in rolls. And you just cut it to the size you want. This is a, a nice size cage for this tomato. 
And then I'm gonna put in uh, this bamboo post to hold this in place. And again, I've gotta put the post in right now because if I put it on the other side, I would sever the stem. So that's what we'll do right now. And then we'll tie the cage to this because at the end of the season, that's good. At the end of the season, this tomato will be filling this up and then spilling over the top and could actually take the cage down. So we'll attach this to the post. And that's the first one. We're going to water this in. And then it's off to see our potatoes. The potato project has turned out wonderfully. Uh, hopefully, we'll get potatoes at the end of the summer. So let's go look at that now. Well, here it is. The potato experiment and look at all the sprouts we've got. Some didn't sprout, they probably didn't have an eye on them, but that's okay, that gives us a little bit more room in here. I've got them up, uh, growing in here too and uh, we'll see what happens as they come along. When they flower, that's when we know they start to put potatoes on and I'm glad that it's still standing upright. I think it's kind of <laughs> a little bit off here, but that's okay. Next week we're off to the nursery. We're going to learn how to pick the best annual flowers for the money. And I'm going to leave you now with a few scenes from the garden. This is the best time of the year, just before summer hits. If you've got a garden question, log on to www.post-gazette.com front slash homes and click on the gardening forum button. And also, if you've got an idea for digging with Doug, log on there. We'll see you next week. Now, 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 turn, angle your body this way. Look at me. A angle, you, put your feet that way a little bit. Okay, this keep way? Going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then, and then put, put them up. Knees up, knees up.